Hi, I'm Jeff Schwartz, Chief Medical Officer for ECI. As winter draws near and temperatures plunge, it is important that we consider the possibility of carbon monoxide poisoning in emergency department patients presenting with flu-like symptoms. Carbon monoxide is an odorless, colorless, tasteless gas that can quickly build up in an enclosed areas where fuel or wood is burned. We typically encounter carbon monoxide poisoning in the fall and winter months when people begin using their furnaces and heaters. Each year, more than 20,000 emergency department visits in the U.S. are attributed to carbon monoxide poisoning. These visits lead to over 4,000 hospitalizations and more than 400 deaths. Carbon monoxide poisoning can occur suddenly or build up over a long period of time. Early symptoms of carbon monoxide poisoning include headache, nausea, vomiting, and weakness, and can easily be mistaken for the flu. Patients with higher levels of carbon monoxide in their system may present with dizziness, chest pain, confusion, loss of consciousness, and cardiac arrest. Chronic exposure to carbon monoxide can also cause neuropsychiatric symptoms such as loss of memory, hallucinations, confabulation, and impaired cognitive ability. Physical exam findings in carbon monoxide poisoning are limited. Patients may present with nothing more than tachycardia, either an abnormally high or low blood pressure, and tachypnea. Other physical exam findings may include cherry red skin, flame-shaped retinal hemorrhages, bright red retinal veins, non-cardiogenic pulmonary edema, and neurologic and neuropsychiatric disturbances, such as memory loss, gait disturbance, and confusion. Patients with possible carbon monoxide poisoning should be removed from the source of exposure and started on cardiac monitoring with 100% oxygen therapy as soon as possible, beginning in the pre-hospital setting and continuing after their arrival at the emergency department. This should occur until the patient is asymptomatic and their carboxyhemoglobin level drops below 10%. Patients presenting with carboxyhemoglobin levels above 40% or any patient with cardiac or neurologic impairment should be considered for immediate transfer to a hyperbaric center for further treatment. They should also be admitted to an intensive care unit. Carbon monoxide exposure is a serious public health concern and is often seen with the start of cold weather. As symptoms are often nonspecific, carbon monoxide poisoning should always be considered as a source of seasonal flu-like symptoms and viral illness.